the staff is back. Ah, look who has come back from the dead. Man, the only thing that's dead is the fact that you tried to play. Can hey, I believe that? Hey, man, I don't, know what you're I don't know where you're getting this permission from. I have no idea what you're talking about. Mm, sure you don't. Well, let's get back on track, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, the pack is back. We are fired up for this drink. Chicky gets crazy. We have so many special guests with us in the studio today. Today is really going to be a special treat. I can feel it. Well, with that being said, I'm Michael Butare. Now I'm EJ Hendrix. And here is where we make great music. Great. Well, gentlemen, spring is now upon us. Yeah, man. This portion of the school year, things start to spiral like a tornado. Interesting use of words, partner. Could you um, elaborate for our viewers? Well, you know, next month, the 2024 class is ready to graduate. And I'm pretty sure the rest of the core is ready for summer. I totally agree. I'm j I just seem to be exhausted every day, man. You're telling me? You don't have Coach Dixon, Coach Fitzgerald, and Coach Petty as track coaches. I could only imagine the agony that your legs are in every afternoon, man. How's your spring sport going, Michael? What are you in? Is it spring soccer? Yeah, I'm actually in. It's going quite well, even though a couple of my teammates and myself um, have faced some injuries in a couple of weeks. But it's going well. Hmm. So now we're on the sports topic. How about let's see what our spring sports team has been up to. Have you heard about our baseball team lately? Yeah, they're doing really well, aren't they? It's cool how they keep winning without so much fun, huh? Yeah, they're like the quiet champions of our sport. Not only that, but our other sports are on the road too. It seems like success is becoming sort of a tradition across the board for our spring athletic team. Our tennis team has shown great promise with their recent victories in the last week. And shout out to Dr. Tong, Ms. Peterson, with the job they're doing with the program. Job we, well done. And we can't forget about uh, our track team, man. Man, you know? they've been flying through the competition, coming out victorious in more than half of their races in the past week. Well, look at the time. I think I feel strong. I know. I feel, I'm I'm feel it. Honest. You know what that means? It's time for the weather with Grady of Church. Thanks, EJ. I'm so excited to join you guys. Well, ladies and gentlemen, for the beginning of this week, you can expect lots of sunshine with a bit of rain and temperatures hovering in the upper 70s and low 60s. In the later part of the week, we might be experiencing some showers, tornadoes, or even hurricanes. You really never know what Virginia's weather is going to throw at you. See ya. Hello, it's me again. Y'all know my name already. This is David. This is the part of the show where I'm supposed to ask random questions about foreign countries. Our guest for today is. How y'all doing today? It's Dante Curse. How's it going, man? Good, excited to be on the show. So the question for today is, what's the tallest mountain in the world? Mm, Niagara Falls. I can teach my oh! Good. Oh! I want to know something, Michael. What's up, man? Do you remember last episode, we had like the whole incident about the shout out to that? <laughs> Kind of hard to forget, man. Well, I think you and I can both agree on a shout out we should definitely give this week. This week, Michael and I would like to recognize his scores. The Army scores in broadcast would not even be close to being what it is now. And on top of that, our yearbook would be a completely walking disaster if it wasn't for her pulling extra hours out of her day and coming to help us work on it. All the good folks who are watching this episode of Great News out there. Make sure if you see Miss Force to let her know that she is greatly appreciated. By the way, she didn't tell us. You have a job it wasn't for Miss Force? <laughs> but seriously, Miss Force's dedication to all, not only us, but the rest of the cadets to keep us just get to notice. Well, Michael is not going to notice anymore, so you don't need to say anything. <laughs> Hold up! Wait a minute! Something ain't right! Ah, uh, I didn't see you there. My name is Tenny, and today is Motivational Monday. 
Today's verse, Jeremiah 29, 11, which says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. There are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Trust the process, gentlemen, for God has a plan in store just for you. Remember to finish out this school year strong and give it all you've got. Thank you and have a blessed day. Now, back to your favorite news anchors. No joke for this week? Hmm. Actually, I do got one. Why? It's your tailor to get fired. Why? He just wasn't a good fit. <laughs> Very funny, my friend. Very funny. Uh, you know, they say I'm the funniest around. <laughs> no, they don't. Well, that wraps it up for this edition of Grave News. I'm Michael Wittari. And I, EJ Henry. Peace. Peace. All right.